Hey, what's up? Mike with Maxonics. Welcome to Car Audio 101. Today we're going to talk about alternators. The alternator powers the vehicle, all components, and recharges the battery. A stock alternator ranges from 40 amps to 120 amps, depending on the type of vehicle. When an alternator is under a high demand, or that demand exceeds the alternator's capacity, the voltage falls, and that's when you rely on the reserve of the battery. Take a look at this example of a 65 amp alternator when determining aftermarket audio equipment. In perfect condition, your 65 amp factory alternator is charging at 14.4 volts and is capable of supplying 936 watts. We figure this by taking 65 amps times 14.4 volts, and that equals 936 watts. Your vehicle requires 30 to 50 percent of this to run and operate a standard vehicle component. If we use the middle, 40 percent, you're left with approximately 561 watts for your aftermarket audio equipment. We figure this at 936 watts times 100% minus 40% equals 561 watts. This 561 watts is based on 100% amplifier efficiency, which we know is not realistic. Let's assume you choose an amplifier that's 80% efficient, and that is very efficient for an amplifier. If this amplifier uses 561 watts and is 80% efficient, it will produce 448 watts. We figure this by 561 watts times 0.8 equals 448 watts. Going beyond this point, and you begin to tap into the reserve of your battery. This results in a decrease in amplifier efficiency and an increase in heat due to decreases in voltage and increases in amperage. This is very hard on an alternator and amplifiers in the system. I hope you get a better understanding of the importance of an alternator in your audio system when you're looking to, to upgrade and put in bigger amplifiers or multiple number of amplifiers. So head on over to our friends at 4xspower.com and check out their alternator selection. If you have any questions, you can always hit them up.